Hi, my name is Thomas Watene. I am a senior networking design engineer in the Dust Networks product group at Linear Technology. The purpose of this video is to help you get started with your Smart Mesh IP starter kit. It demonstrates how you can quickly deploy your Smart Mesh IP network and measure its performance firsthand in a real environment. We will use sample applications from the Smart Mesh SDK to explore the out of the box capabilities of your Smart Mesh IP network and discuss where you can go from there. To be able to walk you through this video, I have the following setup. A Smart Mesh IP network with five modes and one manager, which corresponds to the Smart Mesh IP starter kit. A mode is a node in the wireless sensor network. All modes are running in default temperature monitoring mode and are battery powered. The manager is connected to my computer over a USB cable and turned on. On my computer, I also installed Stargazer and the Smart Mesh SDK, two applications which I downloaded from linear.com. A Smart Mesh IP network is a multi hop, IPv6 ready, and fully redundant low power mesh network. When a Smart Mesh IP mode is switched on, it automatically looks for and joins the network. What you see here is the Stargazer application, which displays the wireless mesh network in real time. You can see how the mode I just switched on joins the network. Security is built into the protocol and requires no intervention by your application. The Smart Mesh IP manager constantly optimizes the network. It reacts to changes in the environment to ensure wild-like reliability and ultra-low power operation. All the networking is handled under the hood, which allows you to focus entirely on your application. To explore the out-of-the-box capabilities of a Smart Mesh IP network, we will connect different sample applications to the manager. This allows us to measure the performance of the network firsthand in a real environment. We will send commands to interact with the modes over the wireless network. All sample applications are part of the Smart Mesh SDK, a collection of Python scripts released as source code. First, let's open the Temp Monitor application. When connecting to a Smart Mesh IP manager, the Temp Monitor application retrieves the list of modes currently in the network and displays that information in a table. Depending on how you deploy your modes, some of them can be multiple hops away. A hop refers to the concept that data is passed from mode to mode in this mesh network. Each time data transits to an intermediate mode, that is called a hop. When a temperature reading is received from a mode, the temperature column updates. Clicking on the Get button causes the Temp Monitor application to send a command to the mode, requesting the rate at which it is publishing temperature readings. The return value 30,000 in this case indicates that this mode is publishing temperature every 30,000 milliseconds or 30 seconds. Use the set button to change that value. Here, I'm having this mode publish every 5 seconds. Finally, as a demonstration of device actuation, the toggle LED button allows you to switch the blue LED of the evaluation mode on or off. If you look at the associated mode, you will see the LED blink when you click this button. Let's now open a different application called PKGen. This is a sample application meant specifically for network evaluation. The PKGen application talks to the packet generator inside the Smart Mesh IP mode. Through PKGen, you can request the mode to publish a number of packets at a given rate. Similar to Temp Monitor, modes in the network are displayed as a table. I am now configuring this mode to generate 100 packets with one packet sent every 100 milliseconds and each packet containing 50 bytes of payload. Clicking set sends that information to the mode which then starts generating the data. After 10 seconds the manager has received the 100 packets. These examples have shown you how easy it is to deploy and start using a Smart Mesh IP network. Of course they only scratch the surface of what you can do. What follows are ideas for augmenting this default behavior to match your system's needs. If you already have a device which senses data or is connected to an actuator, you can switch the mode to slave mode. Your device can now drive the mode over a serial port. 
The moat will take care of getting your data across the network in a reliable, secure, and ultra-low power fashion. A Smart Mesh IP network is IPv6 ready. Every moat in the network can be assigned a globally addressable IPv6 address. All packets sent over the network use a compressed version of IPv6 called 6-LOPAN. This means that you can interact with your moats directly from a computer on the Internet. The program to bridge the Smart Mesh IP manager to the Internet is available as reference source code. In conclusion, Smart Mesh IP is a ready-to-use, IPv6-enabled, low-power, reliable mesh networking solution. All the complexity of the networking is handled under the hood, allowing you to focus on your application. This video has shown you how easy it is to deploy a Smart Mesh IP network and start collecting sensor data. By using the sample applications of the Smart Mesh SDK, you can measure the performance of the network firsthand in a real environment. For more information, visit us at linear.com forward slash dust. Thank you.